Hello and welcome back to Star Ocean to the End of Time. The last time I remember, after much deliberation and much grinding, um... I got our main team basically up around 46. Borderline 46, 46. As well as we got our backup team in tow. Well, trying to anyway. So, I kind of did a bit of grinding for Sophia and Katita. Otherwise, no, it's too late. Maria, of course, she's going to be our backup. For say, um, Cliff. Capito might be a secondary backup, as well as um, Sophia. But I would need to really get to a good spot to actually do some grinding. That's not a good one, because we're about to lose. Yeah, what we had to do. We're done here. I'm gonna do after I'm done with this one. Well, we'll wait after that. We're, We're back, back, Commodore. Commodore. What, what took, took so long? long? Any, Any interference, interference from the, from the executioners? executioners? Yes, but we made it. Indeed. Glad, Glad to have, have you back, back safely. safely. But first, first things, things first, first, did you did find out anything? anything? We did. There was a secret file concealed in my father's database. Is that so? My name and genetic profile were the keywords. I see. That explains why we could not find anything. What was in the file? The identity of these mysterious creatures that are attacking the galaxy and the Earth. Go on. They're the emissaries of the Creator. So you're, so you're saying, saying it, it is, is the creator? The creator? Nonsense. Nonsense. I don't blame, I don't blame you for being skeptical, skeptical, but that's, but that's what, what my father, father believed. believed. He believed a lot. Mind you what I'm doing right now, while I'm, re while I'm actually recording some parts, is actually 
making sure where I am and all this. I suppose, after seeing what they look like, and their capabilities, I would believe that too. What they look like? Just marking myself. Yes. Based on their size, it's easy to see that they surpass Federation battleships in offensive and defensive capabilities, as well as speed. It's no wonder some call them gods. We have little chance against them. Commodore, we need to travel to the planet Styx, where we can enter a realm known as 4D Space, where the Creator resides. According to my father, it's a different dimension than ours. So time won't progress at the same rate as it does here. In fact, the concept of time itself will not apply in 4D space. We're hoping that once we're there, we'll find some way to defeat the Creator and save us all. But isn't there a possibility that by defeating the Creator, you will also destroy his creation and all of us with it? I don't think that'll be a problem. In fact, I believe defeating the Creator will free us from his hand and enable us to live in absolute freedom. That's right. And my father gave us the power to do just that. I see. Then we'll set course for the planet Styx. I fear the trip won't be easy. Are things that bad? Yes, the enemy has already reached our final line of defense. Not surprising. It is only a matter of time until they breach it. Oh no! Then they can't afford to lose the Aquarelli, the Federation's most advanced ship. We'll go on the Diplo and... <clears throat> Impossible. The Diplo would never make it through enemy territory and reach the planet. Even the Aqua Eli alone is no match for such a foe. I can't allow you to risk your lives when there is no hope of success. Commodore? The executioners are moving against our final line of defense. Oh, by the way, lots of story. Unforgivable.
Calculate a course for evading their attack. Once we are out of the combat zone, proceed to sticks at max warp. Yes, sir. Course calculated. 112654.774. Good. Get us out of the combat zone. Top speed. Yes, sir. No enemies detected in the present area. Right. Looks like we've escaped them for now. You all should get a little more rest. Okay. So for those who don't know what Styx is, um... We're going back to the first game. The, the planet of the first game known as Pump. From Star Ocean. Yeah. AKA first departure, first departure, whatever you say. Mm -hmm. I hate to say this, but the next time we leave warp, I'm getting off this ship. I can't take any more of this. Look, you ask one line, yeah. It'd be understandable.
is returning the control panel for the fight. You need a formation of at least four fighters attacking in unison to get past this ship. I don't like about this this battleship is just that. good enough for me, it's not good enough for anybody. And I say to that, get off your fucking mind. My boy. Like, every game don't desire a remake. Or a remaster. Sector surrounding stick. There's a problem. Please report to the bridge. Oh boy. 
more. Commodore, 17 minutes to the planet Styx. We're picking up a strong energy reaction nearby. The Executioners. I'm afraid so, sir. I am sorry, but it seems we will not be able to transport you down to the surface. You want us to give up? Please, I've said nothing of the sort. You'll go to Styx by shuttle before the Aqua Ellie enters orbit. Commodore, what about you and your crew? That's already been decided. We will use the Aqua Ellie to lure the executioners away from you. You can't! That'd be suicide! Just the way Tomino wants it. Unfortunately, there is no other way. I apologize, we are unable to take you all the way. But don't worry, we won't sit here helplessly waiting for our destruction. They shall face the greatest power the Federation has. The power of an angry black man. But... The old man's right. There's no other way. I'm afraid so.
So you know, as of always, in every space opera known, it will always be the captain goes down. Characters aside, doesn't really matter. My loadout's my loadout. And I'm stuck. And I'm fine. Attention all crew members. The fate of the galaxy rests on the impending battle. Let us prove here and now that the Aqua Ellie's crew is the best in the Federation. This creator has sentenced us all to annihilation. Let us all stand together against him and live! With you, sir. We can take them, sir. Let's mess them up good, sir. Let's mess them up good. Onward, my faithful comrades. Imagine if Zeno Gears had voice acting like this. Oh, that would be very Got a job to do before we mourn anyone. I'll take us. We've got a job to do before we mourn anyone. I'll take us down to a point one kilometer away from the time gate. Here we go. And for those who don't know the name, Thomas, it's a reference from the first Star Wars. The one we never got over here until much later when we when the PSP came out. And the PS4 decided, oh let's re-release this game. As first part. It's just like a Fancy Stars Lambda. Named after Alice from the first game.
are everywhere, as I expected. Everyone ready? Let's hurry to the time gate. Yeah! Let's go! Lead it to me! I'm with you. Right behind you! So at least we got a heal spot, as well as a face spot. Out, 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 out. 